Hey guys, I'm with you for Just EV and on this channel we talk only about EVs and today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic. So if you're planning to buy a new second-hand electric vehicle, what are the major points which you need to make a note of before buying a new electric vehicle? And do make a note that these are some of my feedback of my points which I thought I would be sharing with you. But if you have something additional, you can just share them in the comment section below. Guys, generally the upfront cost of owning an electric vehicle is very high when compared with the ICE vehicles like a petrol vehicle. In short, basically, if you're planning to buy a new electric scooter, it would cost between 1.5 to 2 lakh rupees. While if you're planning to buy a petrol vehicle like a Jupiter or an Activa, it would cost you less than 1 lakh rupee. So if you're on a very limited budget, then you might have to go for a pre-owned or a used electric scooter when compared with a new one. And again, do make it note that some of these points are clearly for the second-hand uh, electric vehicles. The first and first or oh, foremost thing would be why would you buy an electric vehicle? Well, even if it's a new or a second-hand electric vehicle, there is no pollution so that is something which you should make a note of and compared to the ice vehicles the depreciation value of the evs is also quite slower according to some reports an electric vehicle loses around 20 percent of its value as soon as a customer buys it while which is still lower when compared with a petrol vehicle unlike the new purchases there is no new longer waiting period for the new used evs which clearly means that if you're planning to buy a new ev like a ola scooter or the simple energy scooter then you will have to wait for a few months before you get the scooter in your hand but if you're planning to buy a second hand vehicle then you would directly get the vehicle within your hand within one or two days now the second important area is a battery health now this is a very important factor to consider when you're planning to buy a used electric vehicle and that is the battery health even the used electric vehicles come with good battery health which is quite common to find but then you'll have to make sure there are a few startups which actually find out the actual battery health on a electric vehicle and report the data to you but it's not that easy when we compared with a smartphone based technology where in a smartphone we can just go to the settings and check out the battery health but that's not the way you could do that on your electric scooter but it is still recommended to check out the remaining battery life before you start spending your money on a used scooter and the next point comes down to the range now the range of an electric vehicle depends on the battery capacity the larger the battery is the longer range the ev will offer however always test drive the vehicle as per your driving habits and see the difference between the actual range and the claim range so if a buyer claims that you know the vehicle is in good condition he has never driven much and the company has been claiming like a 100 kilometers range while the buyer has been getting around 90 you should actually drive it out maybe two three times for at least two three days and then check out the real numbers i mean if you're getting almost like even 80 percent or 90 percent of what was the buyer already promising then it's good to go but then you know there are situations wherein people would have driven the vehicle so much and uh, finally you might not even get 50 percent of range and you might be you know duped by false promises moving on it comes to the charging infrastructure now when compared with the home charging the fast charging will kill your battery faster hence it's not recommended to 100% depend on the fast charging network always prefer to have charging set up at your home or office so the battery will last longer and if you do frequent long drive then you should always plan the fast charging options beforehand and uh, then you should plan your route now while there are a few companies like Tata Power and Fortum which are setting up fast chargers on all over the highways of the cities it might be plan recommended to use the home charging and plan these trips and that is where it comes down to how the earlier owner has actually used the vehicle you should always do a little bit inquiry like you know did you always go on a long drive or did you charge it at your home or on a fast charger and if the person has used it the vehicle or at his home or his office charging which is a regular charging then you can always expect a better battery health when compared with the charging through the fast charging network the final point comes down to the cost of ownership and that includes the cost of purchase and the overall cost of maintenance during the life cycle of the electric vehicle in the long run the cost of ownership with lower maintenance and lower electric prices will make the electric vehicle obviously value for many when compared with the ice vehicles if you're worried about the high battery pack prices then you should always make sure that you know you're not buying a vehicle which is almost 60 to seven years old when it comes to the electric car or two to three years old when it comes to the electric scooter because that's close to the expiry of the warranty and you will have to buy a new battery pack so basically if you're buying a tata nexon or even an mg zs ev which is almost five to six years old then do make a note that you know almost within two years you will have to buy a new battery pack and that would cost a bomb the same applies for an electric scooter so let's say you're planning to buy an ether and which is almost three years old and if the company is claiming a warranty of three years then definitely you'll have to change the whole battery pack in case the range goes down and you'll have to additionally spend a lot of money so and this is why you should uh, make a note of this 
specific point also and all the other points which i have shared in this video before you plan to buy a second hand vehicle if you just think this video is useful to you don't forget to thumbs up button and share subscribe to just tv english for more videos in english i am amit and i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you and goodbye